Welcome back to the show, everyone. If you've been in the Tampa Bay area for even a minute, you have to know who these two lovely ladies are. We have Brenda Lee and we have Nancy Alexander here. They have a new radio show on... 8.20 a.m. 8.20 a.m. Yes, or you can listen online, newstalkflorida.com, anywhere democracy thrives. Nice, nice. It'll all, it's all down here in the lower third, as you can see. The magic of TV is on there. So how are, thing, how are things going? Who else do you have on there? I know you have somebody else on the air with you guys. We have Reggie Roundtree, My man, My man, Reggie. Anchor on Channel 10 forever and ever. He's, he's the man. A man can sing, too. He's got some pipes. He does have some pipes. He's, he is a man of many hidden talents. Well, they used to be hidden, and now he shows them off on our show. <laughs> My favorite's when he went and plunged under the waterways to show us how to poke out our windshields. But in the 80s, we were poking, but not no. windshields. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's 2 a.m. I must be lonely. Must be lonely. So your show's on from um, 10 to 10 noon? 10 to noon. Monday yeah. through Friday? Yes. Monday, Monday through, through Friday. Friday. And you'll yeah. be having a, yep. they'll, hopefully there'll be a live stream coming out of that studio soon. Yep. Very soon. Yeah, very soon. Very soon. All yes. the, the equipment has been uh, purchased. Ordered purchase yep. is being installed. The so cameras are on their way. Yeah. Which are the hottest item right now. It's up there with toilet paper. I think Dave Flash Morgan, webcams. Dave Flash Morgan's filming with our cameras something we Oh, with. did he take it? Oh, <laughs> boy. <laughs> cheese beans. Bean oh, Sorry. boy. Make sure you clean that memory card when we you have... first get it. <laughs> Very special. I know how it very is. Very special cameras. We're sorry. Instead of adding ten pounds, they actually make us look taller. <laughs> and the, and better dancers. Nice. nice. Nancy's so there's a nice, premium on nice. that. Nice. Very. Yeah, that's a, that's a premium. That's definitely a premium. Yeah. So let me let me talk to you, ladies. Um, mm. in, in in with everything being shut down right now and mm. as kind of drab as it is. Yeah. What what are the thing? What place or thing do you miss the most that you usually did that you can't do now? Oh, that's easy for me. Can, I don't know if we can zoom in on this. Nail salon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, le I'm severely left-handed. This one looks kind of okay, right? I bought the LED light, yeah. and then you got the sparkly nail polish, all that. Then comes time to do this hand. It's yeah. all chipped and stuff. It's janky as hell. <laughs> it looks like, but this, is, this was my third attempt. It looked like, when I first put the polish on, like I had gutted a fish. But she's got great the, hands, Bill. If she, that's the look you're going for, then I guess it's, it's all right. No. Her <laughs> little leg, her little, not leg, leg, her little finger, it would make anything look gigantic, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I got nine fingers. I'm out of the conversation. Am no, I still on? What do you, what do you, what do you miss, BL? Being drunk. Well, you can still do that. I'm I mean, the 90-year-old in the window begging the rhymes with Orr's Light to bring me some beer. <laughs> did you see the little cute little lady? She got delivered all yes, the fruit. I did see that. that I awesome. did see that. That was that was cute. What do you miss, Bill? Uh, I miss going out and seeing all my friends. Uh, we're big. Patty and I are big. Uh, I'll say, uh, I'll say bar hoppers, but we're uh -huh. live entertainment hoppers. Yeah, yeah. We like to see. We like live music. So we usually at least hit me three too. to four spots a night. Uh, stop in, say hi. I call it spreading the love because you have friends at each location. So sure. you go in and say hi to everybody. Um, a lot of the bar owners, we've become very good friends. The bartenders, the bar backs, Aww. everybody. And uh, I miss all those people. Now, so do you make Patty happy? You packing? I, I make Patty happy. <laughs> so how's I your, how's your, happy. your liver's got to be smart. wearing huh? a smiley face, though. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, that's, the, <laughs> that's the truth. In the day, what was your favorite clubs to go to? Mine would be Confetti. Never Conf experienced the ice room. I do have friends that did. They weren't picking up any ice for the buckets, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, confetti, Makos, Robocani. Oh, for me? <laughs> well, 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 no, no, but here's the Apparently. thing. No, here's the, here's the thing. Coyote, oh, yeah. in, in the 80s, yeah. Yeah. even though I was, you know, in my teens and early 20s, doing the Nancy in the Sky gig. Yeah. Um, I was a traffic reporter for a big radio station, number one in the country, actually, at the time. And I was in a little 152 Cessna. Um, started oh, the old gig 152, when I was like, huh? Yep, that's why I got the gig, because I'm no bigger than a flea fart. <laughs> but it uh, turns out that I got to be good at it. But anyway, I worked a split shift, and then on the weekends, I was doing appearances. So I actually didn't do a whole lot of partying because I had to be at work early in the morning. But that said, <laughs> when I was working in Feather Sound, the bouncers did know me. Uh, we were on a first name basis. It said Stormins. Stormins, by chance? Oh, Stormins man. was there. Stormins? Yeah. Oh. My, my favorite story of being at Stormins, and we're all family by now, right? So we can yeah. speak we're candidly. All we're all good. Okay. 
I think. So I'm sitting at the no bar. No one's watching. <laughs> sitting at the bar with a friend, not knowing that the place is. You just said no one's watching. No one's watching? Oh, oh not good. Not yet. Because, yeah, Stormin's. Stormin's was, was a good time. I used to see Macho Man spot. there a lot. Oh, I used yeah. to run into Randy Macho Man Savage the there a lot. Lunch. He was a um, with your car? No, no, Good. no. There was a back stairwell that went upstairs, and yep. we used to take that stairwell up and down because it was a murder to go the other way. I took and... Jerry Springer down that stairwell. Oh, really? you did? Didn't yeah. You? Go ahead, finish your story. There's the baby daddy. <laughs> I think I had. Uh... Turns out I was the dad. The Macho Man. I reached. A, I, he was coming down the stairs. I was going up the stairs, and we came around that corner together, and he was looked me right in the face and I had always envisioned him as being really tall and big yeah. and he was he wasn't as tall as I thought right and we were eye to eye and he just looked at me and he goes what's up brother <laughs> I was like <laughs> I was like oh not much Randy how are you doing and he was really he was very cool he was very very funny but yeah Stormers was great um Coyotes Brits Robocontis uh, Robocontis yeah see I you. sent you a picture of me in I the did, pumps and, actually, and bobby socks actually we're gonna show that picture right you now you are yes no. there it is oh boy nice BL um it, yeah. it's the that, look at, is isn't it raining she, honestly honestly I I have I referred to her as a cherry lifesaver because she's you know she's cute tasty and there ain't nobody who doesn't like one <laughs> Did yeah. you say cherry and my name in the same and sentence? Tasty. I did. No. And tasty. People my gift are to trying you. to eat a quick snack after they, they get home from the clubs right now. That's, that's, All right, well, that's right. they need an alcohol. Well, I, actually, but they would be coming home from the clubs Thank right you. now. But now I guess we're just a nightlight for physical activity. So get it on, oh, people. Oh, well, in that case. <laughs> <laughs> hold on a second. I can do better. <laughs> Suck it and stick them out. Thai pork chop. What do you think of me now? Uh, my neck will let the so, doggy play with me. So in all, all the all the time you guys have been in, all the all the media and all the places you've went, who's the favorite celebrity you've ever met? Oh gosh, I'd have to think about that one. You, Nancy, you've done them all, haven't you? Don't I know. interviewed. No, I mean, I've you've worked with them. I haven't worked done them all. With them. <laughs> worked with them because you were in television back in the eighties, nineties. No, Who it, was, your it was late nineties and early oh. twos. Middle nineties and early twos. I love her Fleetwood Mac story with. Uh, that tell was that fun. One. Tell that one. That I like that. Actually, I have had the pleasure of working with a really countless famous people, um, but when I. And including, I interviewed Paul McCartney for 25 minutes, oh, and the whole time, that would be unbelievable. And the whole time, I had my hand on his knee to make certain that he was human. <laughs> and he said, "Come on, Nance, you're gripping my leg like a gun." Yeah, <laughs> he like had a thing for blonde, blue-eyed were you, ladies. Were you thinking about his weapon? Is that what you? No, were he won, no, Nancy. No, oh. no. And if I had known that he was going to marry that awful woman. <laughs> <laughs> that was on Dancing with the Stars. I swear to God, I would have I would have gone to that interview dressed like Harley Quinn. Allegedly. Nice. nice. You know, fishnets and all. Heck yeah. It's Paul McCartney. <laughs> but getting back to the original question, which by now I've forgotten. Fleetwood Mac. You're going to Fleetwood Mac. Mac yes, I, yeah. I, I interviewed them after, uh, in, in the green room, after a show at, um, what was the, I don't think it was the Amelie yet. Doesn't matter. Ice Palace. Might have been the Ice Palace. Yeah, Ice Palace, I think, is what they called it first. Lindsey Buckingham is, in fact, a guitar god. God. Yes, yes, yes. No, and he was listed yeah. by because I'm a Rolling Stone fanatic too, um, the magazine and the band. But Rolling Stone listed him as one of the 100 guitar gods. So I mean, the guy can play. So you so, and Lindsey sit down for one-on-one. Concrete -on -one. respect. Yeah. Concrete, because I'm a music nerd. Uh -huh. Concrete respect. So I sit down to do the interview with him, and it's just it's a two shot of he and I, and we're wrapped up, still rolling, and he says, "So what are you doing later?" Mm -hmm. And I went, "I'm putting this television piece together." Yeah, she did. It her takes own a piece. while. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I am the producer, the writer, the talent, and I do all the wardrobe. I make all my own clothes. <laughs> I made that part up, but anyway, the when, when on the we're floor. done, when we're done, yeah. Oh, he out. hands me a card, and he says, please call me. And the business card says, Lindsay B. Oh. So my photog and I yeah. haul ass back to another TV station where I worked and called it. And sure enough, it was his home phone number because the cleaning lady answered. Oh, no. Ah! Yeah. And I, I have that sucker shadow box. Really? Absolutely. Nice. 
So you never never got never saw him again after He's that? He's changed his number. Oh, did he? Then. We didn't oh. sleep our way to the top, Bill. You can tell we're on this crappy show, aren't we? Did I just say that? I'm kidding. Slept I love yourself this. right to the bottom. I always. It doesn't, I, oh, doesn't, I doesn't get much lower. I like to think I'm at you, least middle management. Oh, you know I'm joking. You guys I know, do such I know. a good job. We love you guys. All right, I listen, on you. that note, we're going to take a break. We're going to show some commercials from some of our sponsors, and we'll be right back. This segment of Tampa Bay Nightlife TV brought to you by... In these trying times, your favorite bartenders, servers, and cooks are bored and broke. Spend all your time waiting for that second chance For a break that would make it okay There's always some reason Feel not good enough And it's hard at the end of the day I need some distraction Oh, beautiful release Memories seep from my veins Let me be empty I'll wait less and maybe I'll find some But there is something that you can do to help. You can order food, packaged beer, wine, and liquor from the Corner Bar and Grill at East Bay and Keene for delivery and carryout. While following all state and city coronavirus guidelines, the Corner Bar and Grill's full menu and packaged beer, wine, and liquor is available for delivery and carryout from 10 a.m. till 2 a.m. And don't forget with every order, your free roll of toilet paper. Call 727-584-3126. That's 727-584-3126. Five eight four thirty one twenty six. Together, we'll get through this, and hopefully, we'll see you soon at the Corner Bar and Grill. Make sure you follow Tampa Bay Nightlife TV on all the social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. All right, welcome back, everyone. Um, they haven't left; they're still here, and. Um, <laughs> I'm he's, glad we the cameras are off. You sound like my men in the 80s. <laughs> we could leave. I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm not sure. Some I'm not open. chewing my arm off. No, I wouldn't do that at oh, all. Oh, I love that. I would that. never do that. You're so cute. <laughs> God love you. Um, another question I want to ask for you guys is, um, well, let me say, well, we're still talking about the old clubs. Uh, BL, what is the fork for? Oh, that's my my only prop I brought to the show. She brought props. In the 80s, ladies, when we couldn't find our hairbrush, we would tease our hair in the bathroom at Mr. T's. While the Mr. Stranger, T's Club while the 19. Stranger, while the Stranger Band was on stage. Mr. T's we Club could, 19. We could put it up here. We could do all fun with it. And there you go. And a little spray, a little dab will do you. And, no, and then, of course, you use a knife to put on your day glow. Um, go goes lip gloss. Oh, <laughs> then you'd use a spoon <laughs> to wake up, and then you'd be out of there. Absolutely. <laughs> the old Mr. T's, Mr. T's Club 19. That was a, uh, that was a great time. Yes, uh, Greg Billings and the Stranger Band Love, played there a lot. It was. Uh, yeah. There were a lot of bands that made their way through. You meet all the best people there. <laughs> <laughs> Say about two o'clock in the morning. Thursday night, sink or swim. We used to be there when the doors opened. Her name That's is Jackie. That's how bad and it was. There was 25. no. They they would be shocked. The doors. God come out to open the door. We'd be like, Hey, we're coming in. Here's our four dollars. We're gonna drink all night. What'd you do on Friday morning? For Went a to living. work. Went to work. I was a salesman for a uniform company. I had to be there at seven. I had to be in Brandon at seven a.m. in the morning. After drinking all night until yeah. two in the morning. Yeah. How'd yeah. you do in that business? I used to. <laughs> 
<laughs> I did very well. Yeah. But I used to go to the I used to go to work, hop in my my work truck, and then drive to the first rest stop and pull over and sleep for a couple hours. <laughs> Well, Thank you, God I don't work there to, anymore. You have to. You're really kettle one. Oh, it was bad. Did you ever take your bad. hog to Sturgis? That's my dream. No, I've that's never my taken bucket. my hog that, to Sturgis. Dave. No, that's my bucket have list. Have you ever been to guy. Sturgis? Nope, not yet. Where is the bucket list? That's the bucket list. Our, our man Dave Flash Morgan's it, running our board. Dave, <laughs> or, how many miles? Or being to bored. I'm not sure which one. A how many? Lot. How many miles to Sturgis? A lot. A lot, I'll a lot. figure it out. It'll be down here in the lower third. How many miles is Sturgis? Is Sturgis a city, a place, or a person? It's all of it. It's a city and a place. It's fantastic. Okay. And it's, it's the every... biggest bike. Is it the vacation capital thing. of the Midwest? If or... you have a Harley Davidson, yes. Gotcha. Absolutely. Yes, or an Indian, I guess. They accept Indians there, don't they, Dave? Yes. I'm a biker chick. <laughs> that I have is a bucket oh, we list love, we love, I have a Schwinn. We, we love riding. We love riding. Uh, Dave and I have ridden together. And a hefty. Not as many times as we'd like, but Huffy. we'll change that. All right, so let me ask you, let me get back to, to the question I had. Can I get the train off the tracks again? Huh? I'm sorry. It happens. It, it happens. It does happen. It happens. I don't know that there was a train. If you <laughs> if you were doing a little <laughs> HO. Set me up. It was a little, it was little HO came cruising through. If you weren't doing the radio, what would you be doing right now? What careers well, would you Well, if Heidi like Fleiss the... would have paid her taxes, I'd be having her job. <laughs> I have set up 12 people that are still married. I'm looking to set up Nancy with somebody. She is a Yenta. Honest to oh, God. I'm She's good a at matchmaker. It. Oh. I am good at it. She has put 12 oh. couples together. I set up Oprah's... Matchmaker, matchmaker. Make Oprah's me a match. Uh, vice president. Oh, me catch me a catch. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Oprah's <laughs> vice president, who used to be my operations manager at CBS, set them up. They're still married. And I set up David Wells, Yankee, with his wife. And I set up uh, Darren Dalton, the late Darren Dalton in Lynn Austin. Wow. Double Dutch. But then I set up a bunch Do of people in high school, too. Which. And she's trying to set me up, but I'm a hard sell. Uh -huh. I do. <laughs> are, you, are, are, you, are you actively dating? I, I'm dating, but I'm, I just don't want to get married again. I did it well, one time. Yeah, I understand that. I did it one time. It cost me a Fortune. Yeah, he took half <laughs> of her money. I well, mean, she was they usually, I don't know anybody that comes out of a divorce that goes, yeah, whoo, I did good. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, poor Nancy had to pay. Yeah. And oh, then he had alimony. Yeah. And oh, then, what yeah. a, oh, you got that. Uh, got my whole that's, retirement, got alimony. That's, that's sad. Oh, well. Yeah, that's, that's all right. She's yeah, still a good He'll girl. He'll get his someday. I know. Well, are, are, do you uh, do any of the dating sites? Why is Bill so nervous with As us? a matter of fact, <laughs> <It's> crazy. <laughs> Poor Bill. I love him no, so much. No, we're, we're good. We're good. This mm. is all... Uh, I was on... I expected this. I, I, I Believe me, I, re I remember I reached out to you guys, so I knew what we were getting into here. Whew, I'm anyway, I'm now. glad. I'm glad, because these two are great people, Thank and you. Uh, you guys always are Thank happy and... Um, uh, we're gonna do a lot of great things. We're together. medicated. You're, I'm you're wearing a Xanax patch. Yes. <laughs> you got any extra? But see, we grew up with your. <laughs> no. Uh, we grew up with your audience out there. You're, right. Your guys, uh, girls out there. Oh, well, you are Hooters on the radio. I used to listen when I was when I was on when I was sleeping in my truck, uh, on the, at the first uh, rest area. The, as soon as I would wake up, you guys were coming on the radio. I was like, up. Oh. And that was my day. I listened to that all the time. Nice. That was the Ron yeah, and Ron, Ron days. Ron and Ron days. I got to answer the phones for them. It was yeah, with Billy. Was Billy, was, the, Billy the when phone I wasn't, freak, Fast Eddie. When I wasn't drinking Long Island teas all night long yep. and then going straight to And work. then you listened to my show. And you, were, you were my traffic. for 15 you were, years. You were my... No. <laughs> my grown-up job. That was when I was little. Oh. That was a the... thousand years ago. <laughs> No, I did a morning show for 15 years. I was one of the only women in the country that had that gig. And that was on Mix? 100.7. I always 7. wanted to go to one of Nancy's pajama parties when you would have that slumber party at the trop with all these hot Mixed chicks. Mixed slumber oh, party. That's all right. the chicks yep. were, was it a phone-in thing or something? No, they no, they would um, make their case as to why they wanted to come. It took me forever to get management to understand why women would want to spend a night together away from their families, their husbands, and, and um, just be able to let their hair down, have too much to drink. We took their keys from them. We fed them really well. They got hung They got real hungry at about 1 o'clock in the morning <laughs> after, you know, knocking them back all night long. God. But it was harmless, and we had a blast. What do you miss about the 80s, Bill? Uh, probably not having a care in the world. 
Um, yeah. That's that's probably one of the like funnest that. things, you know. And as much as I love my two boys, you know, I don't trade any of that. But uh, my friends, we were uh, crazy. I mean, I went to high school at Clearwater High. We I graduated in '81. Um, I had a house, You're a, a twister? new car by '85, and I, it was just crazy. My first apartment, I'd come home, and ten of my friends would be sitting there waiting for me to open the door, and we just party all night and what was have your, fun when dad said you're paying for your own insurance what was your first car i'm thinking camaro <laughs> well you know well no, no well it was uh, mine. The, it, my, my car story is great but funny so i'll make it short when um uh, when i got my driver's license and it sounds better than it was but my parents had two lincoln continentals they had the two-door pierre cardin edition oh um what color mark silver with the burgundy oh, velour interior man they had been. and they had a my mom had a town car because she was a realtor so that's what she would take everyone around so Trust I, fun, kid. I turned 16 i'm like man i'm gonna be driving mm. a lincoln because my dad had a company car so i'm thinking i'm taking the two-door lincoln to school so I come home from working at Winn-Dixie at uh, Sunset Point in Highland. <laughs> I used to shop there. And there's a big blue piece of crap in the driveway. So I go in the house. I'm waiting to see somebody. So I lean in the door. I said, Mom, who's here? She says, nobody. My stepfather leans around the corner. I, I said, I said, well, whose piece of crap is that in the driveway? My stepfather leans around the corner and goes, it's your piece of crap. Oh. I was like, what? I can't be seen in that. It was a four door. Oh, you! It was a. Punk. It was a 1970 Plymouth Sport Fury four door sedan. No, wait, no way! Well. No way! My friends Love called that. it the living room. Was this car oh. given to you for free? Uh, well, it was used. Right? Kind of. Well, really, see, they were smart. What the reason I got the car is that way I could drive my sisters around where they needed to be, there you and go. they didn't have to. The reason oh. I so, ask is because I've, at 17, my first car, Camaro, my father oh, nice. made me go to a bank get a loan. Oh, I would have never to known. buy the car from <laughs> that a POS car that didn't even work. I was making two dollars and thirty five cents an hour at um Winn Dixie. I would have never got a loan for anything. I would I would have married it, you for your money then. <laughs> it, I was, had a, uh, it was quite quite funny. But then I wound up with a seventy Chevelle convertible. This is which, gin. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh. Absolutely it's not gin ABC. Mine no, was a not allowed to drink on the show. I'm kidding. It's water. It's I know. Water. They don't know. Hey, uh I had the the light yellow Pinto. Ooh, a the Pinto. Bubble. Yeah. Ooh, the Ford had to Pinto. pay for it myself and nice. get my own insurance. But all those cars are so fascinating. Oh, yeah. They're all worth 30, 40 Gs now. I wish I'd kept my Chevelle. <laughs> I mean, but I, I did beat the heck out of it. I mean, I put a lot of miles on it. It was a northern car. Had a lot of rust, but my it was beautiful. My sister's friend got pregnant in a gold Chevelle with black stripes after <laughs> NOM. Shoot. And she accidentally slept with somebody. Mine was blue with white stripes, so I'm out. Yeah, she accidentally slept no with somebody. No more Povich for me. <laughs> she accidentally, it fell in? I don't know. Sometimes those things all happen. All I know is <laughs> there was a baby born, and it's all good, but it was in a Chevelle. Gold, black stripes, 67. Yeah, there wasn't a parking break if she got pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> no. It was a stick shift. Twerk the parking brake. <laughs> Look at Bill. Uh, I, I, no, I'm going right to my next oh, question. I'm going to the next question. Did I pop the clutch? I, I'm and, sorry. And some of this we've already we've already talked about, so I don't even know if this question is relevant okay. anymore. It doesn't matter. What is the craziest <laughs> radio or TV um, story you can share with us without wow. getting anyone in trouble or saying a word. Uh, oh, I'd be ideas. happy to get people in trouble. Well, I, I got just, a quick That's coming. I'm just the girl that's for coming. that. Yes. Don't I do her do wrong. <laughs> I can do one. And if you did, watch out. Watch out because your day's coming. It's coming. It's, it's coming. coming. Yep. Yeah. And I can't wait back. for yeah. it. I have, have an easy time sleeping tonight. <laughs> yes. Yes, everybody. <laughs> everybody on that list that did this lady wrong. Get ready. I, I, I think, I think yeah, you can. Now? Go ahead. What's, what's no, your answer? Go ahead. What was you? Kind of making out with Simon Cowell. Oh, that's cool. You made out with Simon Cowell? Not really so much Simon making out, but he was coming up because I used to have. I used to go out to L.A. because I worked for the station that carried um, American Idol at the time. So I'd go out to Los. Well, I would go out to Los Angeles for a number of reasons, but um, when it was American Idol season, he was coming up the escalator. And I was about to start going down. He gets to the top. He leans over to give me a kiss. And it didn't seem, it wasn't like, he wasn't skeevy. 
You know what I mean? There was a camera rolling, so he was kind of giving me a gift. So it wasn't oh. like a tongue. You know what I mean? A tongue kind of thing. So he it leaned a across tongue, like stranger <laughs> bed. the escalator. Swap woman. <laughs> and lays one on me and says, Your lips taste better this year. Oh, well, so, that's kind of creepy. So that's, you know, that's about as PG a story as I can tell you without me. The other ones have to do with lawsuits. And oh, okay, well, we'll oh, stay away from yeah. those. And, yeah, and the defendants may be watching. There you go. Yeah. What about you, BL? Uh, mine would be Ron and Ron used to send me out to do bits each morning and th we had the flip phone from Alltel back then, <laughs> remember that? And they said, leave the flip phone open, don't get yourself in trouble, but you go get creative over at the, it would be Eckert Drugs at the time. Okay. So I went over there and there was a pharmacist there and I had to run around the store and they never made me do anything I didn't want to do. They were, I was like a little sister, but they said, get creative. <laughs> and so I ran around the store with the phone open so that all of 95 YNF's crowd could hear me yell, my deal is burning. I need some cream. Where's the pharmacist? And I start freaking out. And yeah, I just oh, kept my goodness. grabbing my thighs and ran around and around until I got thrown out of the store. But it only hurts be... when I pee. That's... No, I didn't say that. I didn't yell out that. Oh, no. hello, ladies. That's not the story. Ladies, we didn't like, have revisionist history. All right, so uh, 8.20 a.m., <laughs> 10 to 12, are you getting Monday rid of through us Friday. Why are we out of Our here? Our time is coming to we're... a close. Oh, well, wait. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Uh -oh. I'm going to pull a Regis on you. You remember when I auditioned for Regis for Kelly Rupa's job? I no. did this because I was wearing Prada boots. Uh-huh. That's a high end. These are these are very expensive coach shoes. Uh huh. Oh, nice. And I well, want them on TV. There you go. Could you get your Corona shoe <laughs> off of me, please? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Where has that shoe been? <laughs> who, who's, who's ours? <laughs> Allegedly, beanbag. <laughs> yeah, cheese bean. They've been dusted for prints. By the way, we've all been tested and we're clean. I peed on a stick and it was negative. <laughs> I got a plus. What does that mean? You're pregnant. Oh, damn it. With our babies. <laughs> Patty, coming over. Sorry, Patty. <laughs> Wouldn't be my first paternity suit. Thank you very much, ladies. I greatly appreciate your time. Uh, we yep. will be listening on 820. We will see you more often than probably you're going to want. But it's going to be a great time. <laughs> um, thanks, everyone. We'll, uh, we'll be back soon. <sighs> thanks. Good night. Thank you. Bye.